go. Oh shit, what's the jump button? Okay, I figured it out. That's the jump button. You're right. You're welcome. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. So I learned something uh, a couple weeks ago. What did you learn? I learned the minimum number of jumps you need to beat Mario Odyssey. What's that? Guess. Uh, over 4,000. No. What is it? Zero. What? You can you can beat the game without ever uh, having Toadette record a jump. Note, I am saying Toadette doesn't record the jumps. Oh. You still press the jump button. But the game oh. only considers it a jump in very specific circumstances. One, you have to be on the ground. Okay. Two, you can't be transformed. So like, if you when you take over Bowser, that doesn't count as a jump when you're jumping as him. Uh, you can't be in 2D either. I, no, no, 2D does count. Oh. But no, wait, you can get around a lot yeah. in this game. Um, bouncing off of Cappy in two-player mode, or in single-player even, doesn't count. Yeah, I figured. The animations from getting up uh, at the start of the game, as well as the, uh, the animation when you go to Lost Kingdom. Or, yeah, I think it's Lost Kingdom. The, the one where you crash, not the one yeah. where you fight the dragon. Oh, uh, no, Lost Kingdom is that one. Wild Kingdom? Whatever it is. I don't know, I know what you're talking about. Those don't count, but the one where you jump after, uh, you, uh, do your fight with Bowser right before you take control of him, that does count. However... Two-player mode, Cappy can smack you instead of you jumping. So that's how you get around that one. Do we have a trumpeter on board? But yeah, you can get like 600-some stars without ever once having Toadette record a jump. God damn it. Mario, you're an idiot. I thought that was pretty neat. Don't you think that's neat, Candy? I think that's pretty neat at 15. But yeah, you can't uh, clear up the trouble in Sand Kingdom. But you can leave Sand Kingdom without jumping. And that's one of the only kingdoms you can't actually complete. Huh. Dude, why is Mario so much shorter than every other, like, human? Because he's not human? But what if he is? Then he's a midget. Like, let's be honest, if he's human, he is extremely short. I mean, you're not wrong. 
Aren't there kids in uh, Metro Kingdom that are taller than Mario? This guy says this is where he does all his training. Here's the real deal. I don't know if there are enough, uh, coins. Oh no. Get this. Ding it. Sixty-five coins, and I'm all the way up the mountain. I don't have a lot of coins left I can get. Seventy. Especially if it was like 64's level of fall damage. Oh, yeah. I think the game would just be impossible with that much fall damage. I mean, as long as you could turn it off, basically. If I turn it off, I mean, if you just throw your cap, it stops your momentum enough. Yeah, fair enough. Because, I mean, that stops your momentum now. As long as they kept that, that wouldn't be, like, it still should happen, I don't think, but it wouldn't be that bad. Wow, I just got a ridiculous amount of coins from a trash can. Someone left those there. Well, it looks like you need to do the, uh, slide to get the red, or not the red, the 100 coin star. That sucks. Alright, let's do the slide twice, I guess. I'm really not looking forward to Rainbow Ride. You ever done Rainbow Ride, Pandy? Um, I don't remember what that is. 
Oh wait, no, that was one of my favorite places. Really? Huh? Wow. Okay, Mario. Hey, I found a potted plant. Dude, nice. Get some pot. I mean, I guess I'm legal enough to now. So. You're legal enough. I mean, yeah, you be 21. I'm old, remember? Yep, that's that's old, all right. I wonder how many people I just upset by saying that. Mamma mia! Does that make me ancient? Nah, you're just mildly above age. Mildly above age. You heard me. It sounds like bullshit, I'm aware. I mean, it is something you said, so... Oof. Can you really blame me? I mean, I can't. Can and should be two very... And you though. I need to remember where to find the seed. Actually, I should have gone on the other side. There's one in each stage. Do 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 Star. Well, costumes here. Are we getting all the costumes and shit? We need to. I didn't think we did. You do. Because it's oh. one of the Odat stars. I know you need enough. Plus, I need them for other stars. Fair Us enough. Usually, not all the time. It's fine, you don't have the Bowser amiibo, I won't get the Bowser amiibo. Fair, right? Fair and balanced. As all things should be. Did nothing wrong. What? It was a good movie. I enjoyed that movie. Did not have uh, much downtime. Did not. But again, they also had so many characters. Had. <laughs> I know. I was seeing if you were gonna catch that. Wow. 
I mean, I thought it was appropriate. Where's the actual next guy? Oh, the fuck over there. Okay. Okay, we want to be shown an action guide. Okay, back to the jump rope. Never mind, I fucked it up immediately. You know, you could just give up on the jump rope. I, I did. I gave it up for a long time, and I was like, man, maybe it's my time now. It's not. Oof. Spoilers. I don't spoil shit for me. You know what? I'm sorry, Pandy. You're right. I shouldn't spoil anything. I actually shouldn't spoil anything about uh, any any recent works like uh, like the Bible. I won't give you any spoilers, like how Jesus dies. Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry, Pindy. Okay, I'm a terrible friend. Give me that moon. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Bassist on board. Here we go. There we go. Yes, I want to save. But do you? Yes. What if you don't? Counterpoint. I do. What if there's a shiny thing on the ground that tells you otherwise? I don't listen to shiny things on the ground. So... What if Navi came to you and wouldn't shut up until you listened to her? Here we go! Who? Navi. Hey, listen! I don't hear anything, so... Alright, now it's time to get the star from the slide. Mouse. Oh, I remember this place. For some reason, this place gave me a lot of trouble back when I was doing it. I think that's one of the places you can't do without jumping. Or it might be possible, but it's very hard. Sixty-nine. Do nice. You're proud of me. Sure. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. I guess. If you totally want me for a son. I mean, you're a good kid, so... Debatable. Depends on the day. Oh shit, I almost died in the fire. I mean, if I had a son and they acted like you, I'd think that I was a pretty good dad. Even if you're weird. Because I sleep. I sleep sometimes. I mean, what oh, serious right. trouble have you gotten yourself into? Um... That's fair. Like, none. Here we go! Exactly. Oh wait, no. Correction. Um, in, in the fifth grade, um, I told my teacher that she was stupid, and I could bribe her. Was she being her. stupid? Yes. So, so, I... Uh, <laughs> that's her. Um, so I was, you know, sixth grade. She's, uh, so we had a little thing that was trying to be like middle school. Um, where, uh, they had all the three sixth grade teachers would each teach one thing. Uh huh. But you still had a homeroom. Um, <laughs> and my English teacher was kind of a mean and kind of a butt. Uh huh. But then again, I think that's just the way I portrayed her when I was a kid. Um,. 
and she was just kind of doing stuff and in the hallway. She said, you can bribe me with chocolate, and then I can do the spelling test. And we had to use um, the word bribe, so I said, uh, my, my stupid teacher can bribe me with chocolate. Or bribe her with chocolate. Uh huh. I used the word correctly, but then I had to go to the office and write like a two-page apology. Sounds like she was being stupid. Actually, I went to the principal's office like once a year throughout elementary school. Let's see, first grade. Uh, nothing happened in first grade. In second grade, I punched a kid on the bus. Why'd you punch a kid? Because he called my sister stupid. My That's not a proportionate okay. response. What do you mean? Violence isn't a proportionate response to to words. You're right. Don't punch people because they say something. I was in first grade. Yes. I, I get that. I understand now. I wouldn't do that. Uh, my dad was like, oh, my kid did nothing wrong. I didn't get in trouble for that one. Oh, wait, no, I remember what happened in elementary school. In, in kindergarten. So, I had, there was a bus stop, right? Sure. And we had a bus stop. And, uh, cool story, uh, there was this big rock at the bus stop. And then, uh, this guy fell off a rock, and I got blamed for it, even though I was, like, 30 feet away. That was the young one. Uh huh. That's how much the fence was off that year. In third grade, I was I uh, was bored at the end of a test, so what I did was I went uh, I just kind of clamped my teeth together repeatedly, like, like a piranha. I did that for like, like maybe a minute. I got sent to the principal's office. Your teachers sound like they're just. Unpleasant people. And then, um, in fourth grade, uh, they're like, hey, it was the last day of school, they're like, hey, don't show your report cards to people. And I immediately showed my report card to someone and got sent to the principal's office with, like, an hour left to the school year. Your school sounds really stupid. Um, fifth grade, nothing happened, and then sixth grade, I already told you that one. So yeah, the, uh, that's the story of how I went to the principal's office. But that's not what you were expecting. No, that sounds about right for you. For random things to happen in that weird way. I have, I have interesting luck. That's, uh, one way to describe it. Then I mean, like, one or two of them, like, I kinda asked for it. Like, don't show your report card to someone. Immediately shows your report card to someone. But that rule is stupid. I mean, yeah.